present Primary Mathematics for Standard 6 Pupils. Our topic today is Squares and Square Roots of Fractions Involving Perfect Squares. Welcome to the program. Hello Standard 6 Pupils. Today we are going to learn about squares and square roots of fractions involving perfect squares. With me in the studio are two standard six pupils, Mary and John. Mary and John, please say hello to your fellow pupils. Hello, hello pupils. pupils. And I am your radio teacher. We have previously learnt about squares of whole numbers. Class, what is the square of four? Give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. John, what is the square of 4? The square of 4 is 4 multiplied by 4, which is 16. Good, John. Class, did you get 16 as the answer? Good. We get the square of 4 by multiplying 4 by 4 to get 16. Mary, what is the square of 7? The square of 7 is 49. Thank you, Mary. The square of 7 is 49. We multiply 7 by 7 to get 49. Now, class, what is the square of 8? Give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. John, how do we get the square of 8? We get the square of 8 by multiplying 8 by 8 to get 64 as the answer. Good, John. Class, I hope you got 64 as the answer. We multiply 8 by 8 to get 64. We get squares of numbers by multiplying the number by itself. We can also multiply fractions. Mary, what is a quarter? multiplied by a quarter a quarter multiplied by a quarter is 1 16 that is 1 out of 16 i multiplied 1 by 1 to get 1 and 4 by 4 to get 16 very good mary a quarter multiplied by a quarter is 1 16th we multiply the numerator by numerator and the denominator by denominator to get the answer. Teacher, please write this on the board. 1 out of 4 multiplied by 1 out of 4 is equal to 1 out of 16. Thank you, teacher. Class, now multiply a seventh by a seventh and give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. Joan, what is a seventh multiplied by a seventh? A seventh multiplied by a seventh is equal to one forty-ninth. Good, John. Class, I hope you got 1 49th. 1 7th multiplied by 1 7th is 1 49th. We multiply 1 by 1 to get 1 and 7 by 7 to get 49. Mary, what do you notice about the square of 4 and multiplication of a quarter by a quarter? The square of 4 is 16, which is the same as the denominator of multiplication of a quarter by a quarter. Very good, Mary. The square of 4 is 16, and it is the denominator of the quarter multiplied by a quarter. Therefore, 1 16th is the square of a quarter. A square of a fraction is the fraction obtained 
after multiplying the fraction by itself. Class, find the square of two-fifths and give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. John, what is the square of two-fifths? The square of two-fifths is two-fifths multiplied by two-fifths, which is four twenty-fifth, or four out of twenty-five. Good, John. Class, I hope you got four twenty-fifths as your answer. The square of two-fifths is two-fifths multiplied by two-fifths, which is equal to 24 fifths or 4 out of 25. We multiply 2 by 2 to get the numerator 4 and 5 by 5 to get the denominator 25. Class, what is the square of 1 and a third? Give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. Mary, what is the square of one and a third? The square of one and a third is four thirds multiplied by four thirds, which is equal to sixteen ninth or sixteen out of nine. That is correct, Mary. Class, I hope you got sixteen ninths as your answer. To get the square of one and a third, rewrite one and a third as an improper fraction which is four thirds. Then multiply four thirds by four thirds to give you 16 ninths. That is 16 out of nine. Class, we have learned that to get the square of four thirds or four out of three, we multiply four thirds by four thirds to get sixteen ninths or sixteen out of nine. Sixteen ninths is called the square of four thirds and four thirds is called the square root of sixteen ninths. Therefore, the square root of a fraction is the fraction which when multiplied by itself gives a fraction which is the square. Teacher, please write on the chalkboard the square root of 16 ninths is equal to 4 thirds using the square root symbol. That is, square root of 16 out of 9 is equal to 4 out of 3. Thank you, teacher. Class, the square root of 16 out of 9 is 4 out of 3 because when we multiply 4 by 4, we get the numerator 16. And when we multiply 3 by 3, we get the denominator 9. So, to get the square root of a fraction, find the factor of the numerator that can be multiplied by itself to get the numerator and the factor of the denominator that can be multiplied by itself to get the denominator. Now, John, what is the square root of 4 out of 25? The square root of 4 out of 25 or 4 25th is 2 fifths because 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 and 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. Very good, John. The square root of 4 25th is 2 fifths. A factor of 4 that can be multiplied by itself to get 4 is 2. And a factor of 25 that can be multiplied by itself to get 25 
is 5. Class, what is the square root of 36 49th or square root of 36 out of 49? Give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. Mary, what is the square root of 36 out of 49? The square root of 36 49th is 6 7th because 6 multiplied by 6 is 36 and 7 multiplied by 7 is 49. Well done, Mary. Class, I hope you got 6 out of 7 as the answer. 6 is a factor of 36 that can be multiplied by itself to get 36 and 7 is a factor of 49 that can be multiplied by itself to get 49. Therefore, the square root of 36 49th is 6 7th. To get the factors of the numbers, first express the number as a product of its prime factors. Start with the numerator, then the denominator. John, express 36 as a product of its prime factors. 36 as a product of its prime factors is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Good, John. 36 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. The second step is to pair up the prime factors and then pick one factor from each pair and multiply. Class, express 49 as a product of its prime factors. Do so now. Thank you. Mary, what is 49 expressed as a product of its prime factors? 49 is equal to 7 multiplied by 7. Good, Mary. 49 is equal to 7 multiplied by 7. Class, I hope you got the correct answer. Teacher, write the following on the chalkboard. 36 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3. And 49 is equal to 7, multiplied by 7. Teacher, pair the factors. Class, now pick one factor from each pair and multiply them to get the square root of the number. Thank you. Class, find the square root of 36 and 49. Give the answer to your teacher now. Thank you, class. John, what is the answer? The square root of 36 is 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6, and the square root of 49 is 7. Good, John. Class, did you get the square root of 36 as 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6, and the square root of 49 as 7? Good. So the square root of 36 49th is 6 7th by using the prime factorization method. Class, what is the square root of 81 out of 100? Give the answer to your teacher now.
Thank you, class. Mary, what is the square root of 81 out of 100? The square root of 81 out of 100 is equal to 9 out of 10 or 9 tenths. That is correct, Mary. To get the square root of 81 hundredths, express 81 as a product of its prime factors, which is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Also, express 100 as a product of its prime factors, which is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now, pair up the factors of 81 to get 3 multiplied by 3 and 3 multiplied by 3. Do the same for 100 to get 2 multiplied by 2 and 5 multiplied by 5. Pick one factor from each pair and multiply. From 81, pick 3 from the first pair and another 3 from the second pair. When 3 is multiplied by 3, we get 9, which is the square root of 81. And from 100, pick 2 from the first pair and 5 from the second pair and multiply 2 by 5 to get 10, which is the square root of 100. Therefore, the square root of 81 out of 100 is equal to 9 out of 10. And with that, we have come to the end of our program for today.